Hello everyone, and this is Prometheus playing on my Commando Ronin. I promised the guildy I'd do a guide for his merc, and as we all know, commandos are mere classes of mercs. Today I'll be showing DPS, um, arsenal slash gunnery. Now, in my spec tree, I have it set up to where recharge cells now immediately recharge 15 cells addi uh, 15 additional cells and uh, grants 10% larcity for 10 seconds um, all healing received increase and endurance increase hail of bolts increase damage hold the line um, reactive shield reduces damage from taken from area effects by 30% all additionally while stunned you take 30% less damage from all sources and this one allows me to fire bolt storm while moving. Alright, so as you can see, there's nothing below, not even my cylinder. I'll explain in a second. Let me take off my companion. I'm doing this so I can show you from the beginning. And well, as we all know, um, commandos uh, can be tough in PvP if, if played correctly, and especially if they come in groups. Well, this was actually, in fact, my first character I played on this game. And uh, one of my favorites when I played Pubside. Now, the most important ability of, it's all, of it all is uh, Grav Round, which, for the mercenary, is Tracer Missile. So we'll set that up first once I have the uh, action bar set up. Like I said before, we want DPS to have a great view of the battlefield, so I'm going to inter edit the interface and disable experience bars. Bring my main taskbar down. And as you can see here, got a little bit of a setup going now. Now, what was that? There we go. Okay. Should start me off a bit. Let's see how it looks. That nice. Uh, somewhat cement. Um. Of course, before you start any fight, uh, you have to have your cylinder on, or cell. Uh, com combat support cell is for healing. Uh, you get it about 20, same with uh, this one here. I must have skipped it. Yeah, armor piercing cell, which uh, there's a mirror one for arsenal mercs. This is for arsenal and gunnery, which is what we'll be using today. So make sure this is always active. It increases armor penetration by 35% and alarcity by 3. A little bit benefits here and there. And there we go. Now, as I was saying before, the key ability to use is grab around. You're going to be using it all the time. And uh, deals high damage, uh, crushes the target's armor by 20%. And leaves them vulnerable to high impact bolts and increases damage they take by demolition round. That leads me to demolition round, of course. Demolition round, uh, you just fire one off, it deals 4,592 to 4,738 kinetic damage. It is increased by 25% if it's affected by your gravity vortex, which is a symptom of grav round. Um, the same thing goes for Merc. Uh, you'll have instead heat seeker missiles as compared to demolition round and tracer, mice, uh, tracer missile as compared to grav round. Next, uh, from there you're going to use, uh, well for me it's bolt storm. But uh, for those that haven't hit 50 yet, 
it's full auto or unload. There's another name for the Merc uh, later on, and that would be Blazing Bolts, as opposed to Bolt Storm. It's a replacement for uh, Gunnery and Arsenal. Great to use. Uh, it can be increased quite a bit throughout your uh, as you level your spec. A um, lot of uh, damage increases on that tree. Now. That's the basic stuff you want. And the basic three you'll probably be using quite often. And, um, well, of course, you're going to want to walk, um, disable to interrupt. So, number four, disabling shot. I cannot remember the title for the Merc, but, um, they have a similar one. And, uh, I'll add that below in the description once the video is posted. It interrupts their abilities from being used for a good four seconds. Next, uh, I place down Electronet. In fact, I'm going to place that down as a replacement for Disabling Shot. Let's put it in a different order since I'm going to use that more often. Electronet will slow your enemy down, causes uh, high damage. It's good to use um, in PvP and PvE, and it will just add more to your damage. Um, it will, uh, it's definitely effective. Great to pop right before you start doing your rotation. Alright, next. Should be your AoEs. Now, with my setup, Hail of Bolts has been boosted by quite a bit. And, since the fact of, the re since, uh, the patch, the recent patches, the Merc and Commando AoE moves have been boosted by so much, so you're going to definitely need um, a move similar to Hail of Bolts, and that's uh, the blaster move where you move back forth, and also Death from Above slash uh, Mortar Strike. My bad, I haven't quite played this character in quite a while, so bear with me. Mortar Valley. Now, I did forget something just now, and I just realized it. Um, Vortex Bolt. This is just as important as the others, so I'm going to reorder it real quick. And judging how you guys have seen my setup, you know for the first taskbar. This as the... Um, primary abilities. Um, Death from above and Mortar Valley ha also does a great deal of DPS and if you're a power tech DPS is boosted if you use advanced prototype. So continuing on. What am I missing at the moment? Oh of course. Now in PvP Chances are you're going to get attacked, so Cryo Grenade can work as an effective stun to save you in case of emergency. And uh, stick your grenade before that just to add some more DPS. And so on. Alright, so I th believe that's the primary attack moves. Yeah. So, what comes next, you might ask. Uh, next, we're going to set up the second taskbar. You guys have seen how my setup was before, so I'll try something similar to it with that one. And just simply move this over here. And then enable a second taskbar.
Let's start off with probably about four. And I'm probably gonna need like actually probably twelve, and then I'll put reduce the slots to make it smaller. Yeah, I don't like it that way. Um, there we go. Better. And we'll put the companions cast bar here. Yeah, better looking. We're not going to need assaults out there. Uh, chances are I'm not going to switch over to healing, so I'm going to take them all off. Now, as you know, I use a second taskbar so that for my defenses and certain emergency abilities to use in case of uh, situations, such as, for example, um, I'm going to set this up here. Concussion charge. I didn't quite explain it, but commandos get concussion charge so that um, when enemies come up close, you get to knock them all away and deals a very tiny amount of damage. And if you're a commando healer, it uh, actually adds some healing as well. But we're not going to talk about that one in particular right now. Um, next, emergency medical probe should be down. That's your... Uh, battle resurrection so if your ally goes down you can revive him real quick with a small five minute debuff before you can use it again uh, next your CC a CC is a stun that uh, will keep an enemy stunned for quite a while he'll heal himself up while he's still stunned rapidly uh, until you inflict damage upon him or the stun wears off it's great for PvE uh, useless for PvP uh, well some people use it I consider it somewhat useless. Um, and of course, uh, ah, that's correct. I should have thought about this. Recharge cells, excruciatingly important, and also reserve power cell. This will make it so that a move will not uh, generate any energy cells. <coughs> My bad, coughed. Um, and of course, you know, I'm a PvPer, so we got to get rid of those annoying as uh, stealthies. Stealth scan. It will bring out any enemies within the radius of the AoE. Take a look. Let's just get whoever runs into that will be immediately revealed. Next, um, reactive shield increases damage reduction by 25 percent and uh, some classes have some upgrades to it depending on your u utilities and of course uh, I'll add the emergency self heals in another taskbar in a bit but uh, if you do PVE obviously diversion can be extremely helpful and also field aid in case you're in one of those ops where uh, you might need to cleanse yourself. Um, did I put down tech override? No, I did not. That should be alongside that one. Tech override makes it so that uh, your next ability you use within 15 seconds with an activation time. Uh, well, okay. So it'll activate instantly. So let's say I use... Uh, um, grab round. It'll activate instantly without a you know little cast bar, and it will uh, not. It can. It can't be interrupted. Useful at times. I don't use it quite often, but uh, I could change that. Um, from here. Let's see what else we have. Hold the line. That will give you a small speed boost. Vanguards get more effect from the speed boost to like 105%, but it'll make you so you can't be stopped, slowed down, or anything like that, and increases your movement speed by 30%. Useful for PvP especially, over compared to all others. And next. I'm so far, mostly clear there. I believe I have most of the abilities down. Next, we're going to add in heals. Add in a little uh, task bar so that we can place it above here. I'm going to place debuffs right above. Um, no, 
Actually, I'm going to keep that there. And enable a, a next, another taskbar. There we go. Okay, so we'll use that taskbar for heals. Obviously, as you know, I like to stack the uh, group frame along the side. I'm going to do the same for this one, so I don't want to do it along there. In fact, I kind of want to move this closer here. And, um, hmm, there's something i got to work out about that. Um, Ah, okay. I'm going to raise the debuffs to somewhere around here. You know what? I'm not even, um, I'll place it about here. Actually, I'm going to place it right above buffs so that I can have room for the other one. And then, uh, how many healing moves I have? Like, three. So, three. Three slots. All right, good. Now we'll move that. Good looking, right? And uh, where are the heels? Uh, there's med shot somewhere around here. There it is. I didn't quite like what they did with that, where. Um, they switched up rapid fire and med shot because it just makes it inconvenient. Um, and also, where's the emergency scan? Or right, back to infusion. Little instant self heal. Costs some small heat. And advanced medical probe. Convenient to use whenever I need to. You know, because in PvP, there are those situations where you're going to need a self heal. Now, I did forget something, Adrenaline Rush. So, when you're near death, you're going to either have Adrenaline Rush or Culta Overload, which when you're near death, probably like 40% health, it will um, immediately boost your health up very quickly. Um, for Power Techs, it will keep go Power Tech Tanks, it could keep going, but um, it will stop right at 40% of your health for most classes, for most people. And so it'll boost you back up to 40% of your health, and then it will cap out right there. Uh, so use it for a situation when you know you're taking a crap ton of damage. Next, might as well include Stock Strike, in case they decide to run up on me. Little hit right there. And then back up. And I believe that's all the moves that I need at the moment. All right, I'm not going to do the ops frame here for a bit since um, I got no one in group right now. Um, but instead, I'll just show you how I work my class. All right, so you see this enemy here. You're going to want to start off always with a... Uh, in PvP, you're always going to want to start with Electronet. It will slow your enemy down. So watch as he's moving towards me, and then I can fire my grav around at him. You don't want them close, and if he gets close to you, as you saw, I used concussion charge. Uh, I did use demolition round without the debuff on him, so yeah, that was a little bit stupid of me. And as you can see, bolt storm is boosted by the immediate sudden amount of uh, increase in damage. And I did forget something, in fact, which was quite stupid of me now that I saw the rotation a extremely important move of the commando gunnery is in fact a uh, high impact bolt now I'm gonna add another taskbar with the specific uh, just to add to the end 
so that I can uh, have more damaging abilities. I'll enable that. Reduce it to what? Probably two, three. Add two. I'll put uh, a few. More. I'll put like five just in case. Maybe to add in like my special types of moods, moves. And I forgot to add down supercharged celerity. As you can see, I have not quite played this class in a while, so some of these moves I have forgotten. Like even tenacity, which is like your incapacitating effect, so that you can no longer be stunned. I'll add that with quick bar four among the heals, so it's like immediately right there when I need it. Just scroll up, click it, and the rest. Now damaging abilities. I'm going to place stock strike there. Uh, move disabling shot down. And now, where's high impact bolts? That's trooper. There it is. There we go. At which point now I can actually add in There we go. I can now add in throw the hut ball for PVP purposes. It should be here and any extra abilities I need maybe even my speeder um, as you can see there I have stock strike just in case they get close I don't really use plasma grenade but um, that's for the other DPS spec I don't use it personally I'll have it down just in case I need it you never know what you could need and then put my speeder here anything else rocket boost so I can get around real quick and look at that I got my own setup um, time to show off the rotations now as you can see I'm on Oricon I'm gonna use this as an example rather than training dummies I don't exactly know where the training dummies are on pub side but I know of Korriban so instead I'm gonna show you live combat Let's see. Let's find ourselves an enemy. Uh, there we go. Now, as you can see, there's a group of enemies. So, let me show you off. Show off hail of bolts. I mean, look at that damage. And then grab round. so on. I took a little bit of damage. Commandos tend to be a bit more squishier than vanguards even though they have heavy armor on. But that is to balance out rather, um, sorks, scoundrels since they wear heavy armor rather than just reducing the amount of heals they do. Make them ineffective as a healer. And as you can see I have little self heals here and there that I can add just in case just to speed things up. Ah, man, I am forgetting stuff today. Um, once you hit a certain level, you're going to get what we call supercharge. You're going to want to build this up before every fight because um, it will increase your damage and healing. At which point, uh, you're going to get this move called supercharge cell and supercharge celerity. Celerity um, increases the larcity by 10% for everyone in your group, no matter the size. And... Uh, for 10% last 10 seconds it's effective but uh, primarily as you're leveling you're going to be using armor piercing um, the supercharged cell and armor piercing cell 
It increases armor penetration by 10% for 10 seconds. While active, damage dealt by grab round, demolition round, bolt storm, and vortex bolt grant supercharged velocity, which increases elasticity by 1%. Basically, you're going to start firing quicker and quicker. Like, very quickly. And move the task bar down a bit. There we go. Now add a slot to here. Just so you guys have a good detailed uh, explanation of Commando, I'm going to be constantly adding to it, as you can see. Even now, even I make mistakes and I got like, what, a good six, 60s, somewhere on there. And I've been playing this for what since 2011 and even now I still make some mistakes as you can see I was pulled up by a random group so you want to always start off grab round and then it will activate the uh, full auto or bolt storm damage increased it will be labeled as curtain of fire um, to anybody who has uh, any enemies that have the debuff of uh, the gravity vortex immediately activate demolition round let me show you vortex bolt for a moment uh, see, it's an instant. It activates an instant cast for grab round, so that you don't have to really wait. Now we'll heal you up. Now you're gonna have this uh, ability a buff here that's gonna stack, and basically it builds up so that um, high impact bolt damage is boosted by quite a bit. And if you get stack it up to five, it will do its peak damage and hit pretty damn hard if you're geared. Um, I haven't quite gone over stats and augments, and I will uh, right now. This is more of a PvE character, but I'm, I will be building him for PvP as well. Um, unlike tanks, DPSers have low accuracy, and uh, our gear is going to be mainly accuracy, critical rating, and power. Power boosts our bonus damage, and it's m on all DPS classes. It's very effective. Um, surge rating also assists with that. I'll show you. Where was it? It should be under critical multiplier. Um, it boosts uh, critical hits. Critical hits increase the damage dealt by this percentage. There we go. Multiplies the crits. Now, um, I will be featuring a war zone as well for commando just so you guys kind of see how I work and uh, I'll be boosting graphics very soon I gotta buy a new graphics card and uh, that's pretty much it I know it's a little bit uh, ugly looking because it's like kind of low but I do this for big fights you know and uh, sometimes I lag out so so I can have the, uh, I'd love to run it on Ultra, and sometimes I run it that high, but this just keeps it so that I uh, don't lag out of a fight. And, and as you guys have seen in the Civil War video, I, um, I end up in situations where I'm surrounded by six to eight guys fighting at once. So, and that, that can be costly on your computer. So... If you have any further questions about abilities, anything you want me to show you, simply post it in comments. And this is Prometheus signing off. Goodbye.